Hey guys, today I'm making these super fun, super easy little pencil cases for your dolls. Uh, this video is also a collaboration with fellow crafter Binky B DIY Crafts and Miniatures. Uh, she's making these super cute little baby bottles, so guys do check her out. I will link below. And so guys, as you can see, there's no stopper at the top of these little bags, like they don't have a way to close, but if you really cram down your items, you can get them to kind of stay in there and they won't just tumble out when you flip it over. That's the nice thing about craft home paper. Um, let's see, if you're new to my channel and you like what you see, please feel free to click that subscribe button. And kids, do be sure and ask a parent for help before starting this craft. Okay guys, so let's get started. So guys, first I take my craft home paper and I'm measuring out a section that is about 1.5 inches wide. And I just cut it out. And guys, then I have parchment paper handy for this hot glue that I'm about to use. And I'm just folding over my little pencil case here, squirting in some hot glue just along the sides. And I can use my parchment paper to kind of smash that down. And I do the same thing on the other side. Then I trim the top and my sides. And I only want to trim just a tiny bit, but just to get rid of that hot glue on the outside to make it look much smoother. And now we're just going to decorate it. So for the eyes, I'm just using craft foam paper again, my hole punch. I punch them out, but leave my circles in my craft foam so I can use my white paint to then draw designs without my little eyes like moving all over the place. And here I'm just making blue eyes for my unicorn. And to make my panda case, I'm just trimming off the sides for my ears. And with my hole punch, just punching out some ears. And here guys, I'm just trimming the tops of each. And glue with my hot glue. And now I can glue my eyes. So I have here some eyes I did earlier, so they're already dry. And I'm just using tacky glue. You can of course use your hot glue if you like. And guys, with a super thin sharpie, I'm just making a tiny nose and a tiny little mouth. And a tiny little tongue. And it was too tiny, so I'm extending it just a little bit. And guys, for my cat, so I have here just uh, an orange base. And I'm just drawing triangles for my ears, which I can cut out. And glue to the corners. And again, just gluing my eyes and then just drawing a tiny little nose and a little mouth. And to top it off, I could not pull off whiskers, guys. My whiskers just kept looking ridiculous. So I'm just doing freckles instead. And a tiny little tongue. And guys, finally for my unicorn, I cut out a large triangle for the horn. And with my super fun Sharpies, I'm just making a rainbow design. And I glue to the top. And of course you don't wanna glue the two pieces together, so you're just gluing it to one side of your pencil case. I add my eyes, draw a tiny little nose. Everything's tiny in this video. And a tiny little mouth. And for my ears, just tracing out what I think a horse's ears would look like. And I cut out. And again, just cutting off corners. And I glue my ears. I pop in my highlighter. Some pencils. And guys, that's real lead, just using a Q-tip section. And guys, you are so totally good to go. Well guys, I sure hope you enjoyed the video and if you do end up making these um, pencil pouches, I'd love to see it. I'm on Instagram. Maybe you come up with a different animal. That would be awesome. Uh, anyways guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, be sure to like, share, and subscribe and do please check out Binky Bee's super cute little bottles. Thanks guys.